Hey, did you ever hear of the story of Jesse Livermore? So when it comes down to people that have played it well, but then end up screwing up the entire future, that is what this guy ultimately did. And we're going all the way back to 1929. In early 1929, he noticed some concerns with the stock market and the available capital, so he decided to short the market. Now, if you're not familiar with that, shorting a market means that you're betting against. You're basically saying, if the market fails and goes down, I'm going to make money. If it goes up, I'm going to lose a lot of money. But lucky for this guy, along comes the Great Depression. And as we know, Black Tuesday, October 29th, 1929, it started the Great Depression. This guy, by shorting the stock market, made a whopping $100 million as a result of that strategy. Now that sounds awesome, right? Like what a smart dude. Wouldn't you want to follow somebody like that that comes onto YouTube or back then it would have been the TV? Do we have TV? Back? I don't know. The radio. And they said they made 100 million. Wouldn't you want to follow somebody like that? But guess what happens? A mere short couple years later in 1934, because he got so big headed about the fact that he made so much money, he started getting so much more aggressive. Instead of focusing on a conservative investing approach for financial independence, which ultimately he would have had with that $100 million investment win, he decided to get even more aggressive. See how much more money he can make. It's like a drug. And then all of a sudden, he actually, by 1934, lost all of the $100 million of profit and an additional $5 million on top of that. And unfortunately, there's some bad news to this. Jesse Livermore's life tragically ended by suicide in 1940. Now, his life, marked by extreme financial highs and lows, reflects a volatile nature of stock trading and the emotional toll it can take. Despite his profound understanding of the stock market and his ability to amass a great wealth, Livermore faced personal struggles that ultimately led to his demise. His story is often cited as a cautionary tale about the psychological stresses associated with stock market and investment trading and the importance of mental health. His experiences encapsulated in the book Reminiscence of a Stock Operator serve as a semi-autobiographical account of his life. Now, I'll include a link to this book in the description below if you want to check it out, but it is packed with some great examples and some key learnings from a successful and what became an unsuccessful stock market trader. See, the point is anybody can go on YouTube, check out the latest and greatest stocks and go all in on a single stock. But what we don't want to have happen is a great win that ends up becoming a great loss because the worst thing I think that can happen is that immediately upon entering investments, we make a lot of money. Because if we make a lot of money right away, we become immediately excited about what we can achieve in the future. And that means we're gonna continue to invest more, invest more aggressively, and not have any risk management. And that could lead to an incredible loss of a lot of money. But see, that's the whole problem here. We all, myself included, we chase these things because we think, okay, if I do this one thing, I bet this one's going to go up. You know, Tesla, right? Uh, Apple, you know, these single stocks that you see that they're going up and you're like, you know what? If I don't get in on this now, I'm going to lose a lot of money. So I'm just going to put some money in and, and hope it goes up. And what happens? It starts going up and you're like, yes. And then it starts going down. You freak out because you're like, oh man, I, I guess I got in too late. And then you sell it like a loss or something like that. Admit it. You've done it. A lot of people have done it and it's okay. But these three ETFs can help you hedge against these type of things because when you buy into an ETF, you're buying many different companies. And if you like content like this, make sure you subscribe for more and make sure you check out this video next. We'll see you on the next video.